It's finally happening. After months of rumors, blurry leaks, and wild speculation, we're now getting our first real look at DJI's most anticipated FPV innovation, the DJI Avada 360. This isn't just another incremental update. From everything we've seen so far, this could be DJI's first true 360-degree FPV drone designed to merge immersive first-person flight with full-sphere video capture. And the best part? The leak looks legit. The images come from none other than Igor Bogdanov, a name that's practically synonymous with accurate DJI leaks. His track record speaks for itself. And this time, he's dropped a full set of polished promotional renders, not fuzzy prototypes. That alone tells us something big. DJI's not just developing the Avada 360, they're getting ready to launch it. At first glance, the Avada 360 sticks to the familiar CineWoop DNA of the Avada line. Compact, enclosed prop guards, and an aerodynamic frame. But there are some clear refinements here. The edges are smoother, the propeller ducts are thinner, and the materials look lighter, probably a new composite blend that helps reduce drag while improving agility. All of this hints at better flight time, more responsive handling, and improved stability in tight indoor or dynamic outdoor environments. Now, the biggest highlight is, of course, the dual lens setup. Two opposing camera modules sit on either side of the drone's core, making true 360-degree capture possible. But this isn't just a static configuration like you'd see on a 360 camera. Early renders suggest the entire camera system is mounted on an internal rotating gimbal. It's enclosed for protection, not dangling below the drone like traditional FPV setups. That's a brilliant design move. FPV drones crash. It's part of the experience. By tucking the optics inside a protective shroud, DJI gives pilots tilt and rotation control while keeping the lenses safe. That also means, unlike Insta360's anti-gravity A1, which uses fixed fisheye lenses, the Avada 360 can dynamically adjust its perspective mid-flight. You can tilt or rotate the camera manually or even automate it for cinematic sweeps. It's a new middle ground between cinematic capture and pure FPV, something no other consumer drone has quite nailed yet. Rumors point to the same image system found in DJI's Osmo 360, potentially capable of 8K 360-degree video with advanced EIS, or electronic image stabilization, and horizon leveling. Instead of relying on a bulky mechanical gimbal, DJI might be leveraging sensor-based stabilization and software correction for buttery smooth footage even at high speeds. If that's true, this could be a game-changer for both FPV enthusiasts and filmmakers who want immersive shots without sacrificing image quality. Something else stands out in the renders. Small sensor modules flanking the main camera housing. Those are likely dual LiDAR or vision sensors designed for precise mapping and collision detection. There's even a render showing the drone surrounded by a faint translucent sphere, a visual hint that DJI is expanding its LiDAR-based spatial awareness system for FPV use. Imagine a drone that not only flies through gaps, but also understands its surroundings in 360 degrees. That's a big leap towards safer, smarter FPV flying. And then there's what looks like a cyclist in one of the promo shots, being tracked automatically by the drone. That could mean Active Track 360 or even a Follow Me FPV mode, something DJI hasn't offered on any Avada so far. Moving to the rear, the Avada 360's body looks slightly extended, likely to house a larger battery pack. If that's the case, we might see flight times exceed 20 minutes, a noticeable jump over the Avada 2. It also seems to use DJI's top slide battery locking system, known for its durability and quick swap design. Control flexibility is another area where DJI seems to be doubling down. The Avada 360 will reportedly support both the motion controller for intuitive tilt-based flying 
and a traditional dual-stick RC with a built-in display and dual antennas. So whether you're an FPV racer or a cinematic creator, the control experience can match your style. That's a major advantage over competitors like Insta360's Anti-Gravity A1, which appears locked to a single simplified controller. Paired with DJI Goggles 3, the motion controller should deliver that deeply immersive inside-the-cockpit feeling. But the RC option adds the precision filmmakers demand. Early estimates suggest a starting price around 5,000 Chinese yuan, or roughly 700 US dollars. And if the drone truly weighs under 250 grams, it could fall into the subcategory that avoids heavy registration requirements in many regions, a major plus for travelers and hobbyists. While DJI hasn't officially confirmed a date yet, these marketing-level renders make it clear, we're not far from launch. It's possible the Avada 360 could debut before the year ends, giving DJI a head start before Insta360's A1 release in early 2026. If these leaks hold true, the Avada 360 could mark one of DJI's biggest jumps in FPV innovation yet, a lighter, smarter, and more immersive drone designed to blur the line between racing and cinematic capture. It's the kind of evolution that doesn't just update a product, it redefines the category. And as far as early impressions go, DJI might just be about to change what we expect from an FPV drone in 2025. If this breakdown helped you, hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell.